It's Freedom Files with James Burns. Welcome to the Freedom Files podcast for this Wednesday, February 29th, 2012. It is Leap Day, and I am James Burns with less than a week to go before Super Tuesday in the GOP presidential primary. Ten states up for grabs, and last night we had a couple more primaries, the Arizona and Michigan primaries. First, we'll take a look at Arizona with 80% reporting. Mitt Romney is the projected winner with 47% of the vote. He had over 200,000 votes and claims all 29 delegates because Arizona is a winner-take-all state. Rick Santorum came in second place, first loser, with 26% of the vote. New Gingrich came in third place with 16%. And Ron Paul was in last place with 8% of the vote because he didn't spend much time campaigning in the state of Arizona. Looking back at 2008, John McCain won Arizona, his home state, with 47% of the vote. And Mitt Romney came in second place, and Ron Paul came in third back in 2008. Taking a look at the Michigan primary with 92% reporting, Mitt Romney won his home state of Michigan by 41% of the vote. He got nearly 400,000 votes. Rick Santorum came in second place in Michigan with 38% of the vote. Ron Paul came in third place with 12%. And Newt Gingrich came in last place in Michigan with 7% of the vote. And looking back in 2008, Mitt Romney won Michigan back then as well with 38% of the vote. John McCain came in second place with 29% of the vote. And Ron Paul was in fourth place with 6% of the vote back in 2008. Coming up this weekend on March 3rd, it is the Washington Caucus with 43 delegates up for grabs. Then on Tuesday, March 6th, Super Tuesday, with 10 states, around 400 delegates at stake. And that is going to be a big deal in the GOP primary coming up in less than a week from now. And be sure and join us Monday through Thursday, 9 to 11 Central, 10 to midnight Eastern, for the Freedom Files radio show on ronpaulradio.com. Yeah.